Why did you laugh when the, when the dog came on and then when I came on, you went, oh. This is my dog. It's not my dog, it's, uh, it's my wife's dog, but um, I live with her. And uh, it's got a nice collar, hair. Say, say hi, cabbage. Say hi. There you are. Mm -hmm. Look, yeah, yeah. If, if this was in HD, you would see that this dog is a trained killer. <laughs> Unfortunately, we are in crapple vision, so you can't, you can't really tell. Cabbage, what you probably can't tell as well right now is that cabbage is the fartiest dog in the world. And because she's never met upwards of 10 drunk people before in a television studio, I'm talking about the audience. <laughs> she's a little nervous. And because she's a little nervous, her bottom's a little active. <laughs> oh. Yes. Are you shy? Sorry, Cabbage is shy, so uh, you'll have to go, and then when we come back, it'll just be me. Don't go, oh. <laughs> you probably can't tell because we're not in HD, but I am also a trained killer. <laughs> Message. I think we get the... No, no, I understand you're annoyed about doing it, so if you do it long enough, everyone will realise it's phony. <laughs> but I don't care, because any attention is good attention, right? <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Not... <laughs> I swear to God this is done in a game show, this show. Anyway, <laughs> anyway I, it's, it's a great day for America, not a great day for Phil Spector. Did you hear? Yes. Guilty. Second degree murder. Yes. Yes. There you go. You know things are changing when California's putting the celebrities in jail. <laughs> Phil, Phil, Phil was very surprised by the decision. Do we have a picture? Look how surprised we are. He got sentenced to 18 years, and his hairdresser got 20, and his wig was found guilty of Grand Theft Poodle. <laughs> it's also a bad day for Mel Gibson. After 30 years of marriage, he and his wife are getting a divorce. Now, uh, I know, it's terribly sad. <laughs> However, <laughs> now Mel now really knows what women want, a divorce. Mel, uh, Mel uh, blamed the divorce on irreconcilable differences, uh, commitment issues, and the Jewish people. And... <laughs> if I find out who put that joke in there, I'll be... <laughs> you know, if, if, if his wife, if Mel Gibson's wife hires a, a good divorce lawyer, she could get up to half of his crazy. So that's... <laughs> Now, and it's also, it's a great day for uh, one, uh, one of America's first family, America's first family. <laughs> no, the Obamas finally got their puppy. About damn time, I say. <laughs> About damn time. It took, apparently, it took, it took a long time because Obama had to find a dog that's paid all of its back taxes. Now, the new puppy... <laughs> the, 
The new puppy is a, is a Portuguese water dog named Bo. Do we have a picture of Bo? There you are. There you are. Yeah, I know. Knock it off. Uh, actually, let me see Bo again. Can I see Bo again? Yeah, let me see Bo again. Look, look at that. Look at that. I've seen hair like that before. Where have I seen that hair before? Show me where I've seen that hair before. Will you? There, there you are. Now, apparently, apparently they call the dog Bo because Michelle's father's nickname was Diddley. So, Bo Diddley. Ah. It's all very complicated. S settling on a name for a present dog is, is like having to name one of, one of the Optimom's kids. Ah! <laughs> It's late night TV Optimum joke, everybody! Yeah! <laughs> it must be a late night TV show. I can't believe these guys are so crazy and out there. They did an Octomom joke. You bet we did. You'll never know what we're going to do next. Anyway, the dog, yes, the, uh, the White House dog. There's going to be a press conference tomorrow. A press conference where the dog is officially announced. I think they're taking this too seriously. You got a press conference for a dog? Was it, the dog going to be taking questions from the press? <laughs> I do not have sexual relations. <laughs> I, I do not have sexual relations with that man's leg. That's right, a Portuguese water dog talks like Scooby Doo. A Scottish Scooby Doo. Anyway, reports are saying that the White House staff love the dog, but the chief of staff, Ram Emanuel, is jealous. Because until the puppy arrived, he was the cutest little guy in the White House. <laughs> and he could pee wherever he wanted. <laughs> but uh, uh, President uh, Obama says that his daughters will take care of the dog, you know, take him for walks, or brush his hair, pick up his poop. But I'm thinking, who picks up the poop after the kids go to sleep? I've got the feeling the president hasn't really thought this through. The kids are in bed at 8 o'clock. Puppies don't follow the timetable when it comes to pooping. It's not like they go, oh, it's 8 o'clock, I've been a week till morning. <laughs> you know who's going to have to clean it up, President Obama's going to have to clean it up. He'll be like, I shouldn't have to do this, I'm the, pre I'm the damn president. <laughs> but the dog doesn't give a rat's ass, he's the president. Actually, the job of cleaning up the poop will probably fall on some low-level White House employee with nothing else to do. Joe Biden's going to be cleaning up his poop. <laughs> now, the press is already calling Bo the first pooch. Um, they should just call him the first pain in the ass, because that's, that's what it's like having a puppy in the house. I know, because I have got one right now. What, I hear you say? <laughs> yes! What, Craig? Didn't you just do an Octomom joke? Yes, I did! <laughs> and you have a puppy? Yes, I do have a puppy, too! A French bulldog! I got a new puppy in the house, a French... Don't you awe me, you bastard! <laughs> you don't have to live with it. If you don't know what a French bulldog... The French bulldog, it's like that, in a, it's like that dog in the movie Men in Black. Remember that thing with the wrinkled old face? Do you have a picture of that, uh, that wrinkled up thing from Men in Black? Yeah, that thing. <laughs> Like he was going to be on this show anyway. <laughs> anyway, my new dog's name is uh, Cabbage. And the reason I have it is because it used to belong to a guy called Jonathan Morano, who's one of the writers <laughs> on this show. <laughs> and he found that uh, raising a puppy didn't fit in with his bachelor lifestyle. <laughs> and also he's trying to destroy me. There he is over there. Say hi, Jonathan. Say hi, Jonathan. There's one of the writers on the show, Jonathan. All right, yeah. Get right. Yeah. Find out, find out who put that Mel Gibson joke in there. I've got words. <laughs> anyway, Jonathan, what happens is Jonathan got into a conversation with my wife about the dog. I don't like the writers of the show talking to my wife, but they got talking. And then she, she uh, liked the dog, and now I find myself living with the dog. <laughs> It's not even a proper dog. It's like one of those fake... You know when you get a, a, a flat tire and then you just get a little balloon tire to get you so you can get a real tire? 
It's like one of those, it's the dog version of that. It's the dog version of the balloon tire. Because my real dogs, my real, I got two real, I got a, a, a German Shepherd and a Jack Russell. Russell, yeah, Jack Russell. And, but they're out of town right now visiting relatives. Don't ask, right? But they get back next week and one of the dogs is a German Shepherd. What do you think the German Shepherd is going to do when he finds a French Bulldog in my house? If history has shown us anything, the German will annex the French Bulldog's territory. <laughs> yes, I think this would be nice for me over here. Okay, yes. Yes, I'll be wagging. I'm going to poop here and here and here and here and here. And the French Bulldog will be, fine, that's our endure. <laughs> All right, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the big show where we celebrate Cabbage the dog. <laughs> Cabbage left um, during the monologue. Didn't like it, didn't enjoy it. Um, is actually watching a DVD of The Sopranos. <laughs> and I can't say as I blame her. <laughs> I like that dog though, I suppose, in a way. Cabbage. Don't awe me, I'm telling you. <laughs> One more awe and you're out in your backside, lady. <laughs> I will not be awed. I like, I like the dog, but, I, but I, it doesn't make me a notorious show business homosexual just because I like a little dog. I'm a notorious show business homosexual for completely different reasons. It was a joke. Cabbage, that little dog cabbage, right? It's a very small little dog. You saw the dog, it's small. And, uh, and I, it causes a lot of trouble with its fartiness. I have never seen, I've never seen anything so small cause so much trouble since the last time I took LSD. <laughs> you didn't. Oh, I did. <laughs> yeah, it's all in my book. <laughs> oh yeah, I've got a book coming out. Ooh. Yeah, and it tells all the stuff. <laughs> it's coming out in September, though. It is. I've got, I've really, honestly, I'm, you know, we sometimes have people on here that have books come out. I should come on here with my book. <laughs> and, and when I, when I come on to plug my book, Cabbage can interview me. <laughs> Cabbage can interview me and I'll be like, oh, this is my book where I tell all the stuff. <laughs> and Cabbage will be like, Do you know what the worst is? Anybody that's got a dog knows this. There, you, you hear the different noises out of the dog during the night when the dog's meant to not be on the bed but somehow gets up on the bed. And you hear the, you know, the up. And the, and the, and all those noises, right? But you know the noise I hate hearing out of that dog is this noise. <laughs> Just, because if a smell can wake you up, smell alarm clocks. It's not like you go, ah, Daisy, it's time to get up. <laughs> if a smell can wake you up, it's, it's too much. <laughs> emails. All right. Uh, do we have time for emails? Yes, we do. Thank goodness for that. You know me. Uh, it's email time again, my friends. Email time again. <laughs> All right, this is from Danielle in Ozark in uh, Montana. There's an Ozark in Montana? As well as in Arkansas? God, this country's teeming with Ozarks. <laughs> Dear Craig, says Danielle, uh, I watched the AHA music video for Take On Me and one of the bad guys kind of looks like you. So I was wondering if you were in that video. And that's why this picture is here. All right, because this is the one that's meant to look a bit like me.
<laughs> I see I'm not the only one that's taken LSD. All right. Uh, this is from Jennifer in Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, Jennifer says, Dear Craig, have you ever considered going blonde? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. <laughs> but not in my head. See, now why? Why? My chest hair, you filthy bastards. I was going to dye my chest hair blonde to make me look like Aquaman, but... <laughs> strangest studio audience we've ever had. <laughs> like they're kind of owing me, they're laughing at the dog, and then they're going, hey, when I say Aquaman's chest hair. <laughs> no, I thought about dye, I, I wanted to dye my hair blonde for the show, and they said, no, that kind of thing's good for cable, but not for us. <laughs> Stay tuned. Uh, all right. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, this is uh, from Wolf, uh, who I think is probably a human, really. <laughs> That'll just be his name. not from an actual wolf. Because, listen, if there's a wolf that can actually send an email, I want to meet it because I would like to be its agent. <laughs> well, what do you think I could do? I'll tell you what you could do. <laughs> you, you could join Cirque du Soleil. <laughs> really? I didn't think they used animals in Cirque du Soleil. They would use you! <laughs> anyway, Wolf, uh, who's probably a human, uh, from a US air base in Japan, almost definitely now, I'd say, uh, it says, do you think the person inside of a mascot, a mascot costume, smiles when somebody takes a picture with them? <laughs> oh. it's, all, it's bound to be a person. A wolf would never ask that question. <laughs> Like, a wolf would ask the question, do you think the person inside a mascot costume is tasty? That's what a wolf would ask. <laughs> so, I think we've learned that a... Oh. A person. <laughs> with that. We're out of time, aren't we? I'll just do one more, then. Uh, Dear Craig, says Brad in Sacramento, uh, have you ever witnessed a high-speed chase through the great view of LA that you have behind you? Commercials, we'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. Um, well, the emails are done, so the show is moving along nicely. <laughs> Got that out of the way, then. <laughs> then the dog, the dog was here earlier. I'm doing a quick recap in case you've just come in. <laughs> you know, drunk. <laughs> we had a dog on earlier on. My, my new sort of, not really my dog, but kind of in the house, lives with me dog. Sort of a lodger, really. <laughs> A furry lodger. <laughs> Which is, coincidentally, the name of a movie I once rented. Um, <laughs> fur <laughs> furry lodger. It's good, you should see it. Richard Gere's in it. And, uh, what? 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 <laughs> we can cut that out. I, um... <laughs> Actually, we do have to cut that out. Hey, but it made me laugh, and that's what's important. Welcome back to the show, everybody. Welcome back. Now, everybody, of course, has... Uh, everybody has... Everybody has... Sorry if you're, uh, you know... Pfft. You're like, what the... It's all right. Calm down, dude. <laughs> anyway, you know that show, uh, Taxi Cab Confessions? It's on HBO. It's awesome. But CBS is doing something very similar. Take a look at this. Hey. A 
Okay, let me guess what your drink is. Okay. All right. It's a grande, non-fat soy, sugar-free hazelnut with one pump of vanilla and a half pump of raspberry, extra foam, extra hot latte. Wow, how'd you know that? Because you look like an uptight bitch. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm into! No, I was referring to the little elevator guy in my pants. <laughs> going down. Welcome back, everybody. My, uh, my first guest tonight is an actor and singer. He's a big movie star. He's a big country singing sensation. He sings in the charts. Oh, my God. <laughs> I turned into Ed Sullivan. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Now, let me tell you about this next kid. He's, a, he's in the new, the new motion picture, Crank. It's a uh, crank high voltage. Take a look at this. That you, Chelios? I'm running on empty dock. Friction? Friction. Yeah, skin on skin contact creates static electricity. You're kidding me, right? Dude. The friction of two like objects causes the transfer of electrons. Science 101, Chevy. You probably ditched that class. I did. Find someone to rub against. It's gonna help. But it's not gonna hurt. That's what I always say. Please welcome Dwight Yoakam, everybody. <laughs> Well, thank you for having me, Craig, as always. It's very nice to see you. You have candy backstage. Yeah, we do have candy. I, I Little tried. nougats. I'm I brought some for cabbage. No, no, no. You can't give a dog chocolate. Oh, that's no? what they say. But my dog ate a whole bowl of it last year. Really? Yeah, and just burped. <laughs> what kind of dog yeah. do you have? That, well, you, yeah, it's, it's, uh, supposedly it kills them. If they, yeah, yeah, well, it, it doesn't kill them. It's just it's very, uh, if they eat it, they get very speedy. It's like crystal Very meth. surly. They get surly. Mm. That's what I found. He got a little surly with well, me. Well, what kind of a he dog said, is it? He's a Weimaraner, that one. A what one? A Weimaraner. What kind of a dog he's is German. that? He's German. German? Yeah, not, not as extreme as the uh, Shepherd, but just kind he's of a little... And yeah, he's a real sweet dog. I've had him... He's eight. He's eight. I had one for 15... It was a 15-year-old Weimaraner that died a few years ago. Got this one, and I've got a little American Foxhound. It's a great dog. But you're right. They're... They're... Uh, you know they're more knowing than they let us let us believe, and they'll do. They could. They're capable of more than they would actually. You mean like driving? Yeah. <laughs> they could do. Well, you know, there, there was a study that came out about a year ago that suggests that of all the all the mammals that dogs, I think, are, I think I have this right, are the closest, more than any of the other, the primates, the closest genome to us. They're like one chromosome away no, from no, no, being no. human. No, no, no. That's that's close to Baldwin's, not regular humans, just Baldwin. <laughs> I'll just keep setting you up. All right. So, <laughs> no, but but it's true. They they that's why well, when people no, think they're dogs. No, no, no. I'm no, telling well, you. But monkeys, monkeys. But I, nah, I, no, they're not. None of the great apes are as close to humans in DNA as dogs. It's almost punishment for some of us are probably going to be sent back as dogs. And they're kid. But I ex I expect more out of my dogs now. You could well, make me, me too. No, yeah. no, I've heard this. That's what yes. I'm so there you go. But congratulations on your wedding. Oh, thank you. Yes, yeah. I, I, I go. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. I'm married. You, you. Where there's, were they? There's the evidence. There, there, there it is. Shiny and gleamy. Shiny and a little GPS. Always with you, Craig. Yeah, always. Always a, but always we used a reminder. To, well, you, we used to always talk about the. Well, the, yeah. freedom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No. Do you think? Do you think you get married now? Of, now that spoke, I'm married, you're we the now last... sp we now speak wistfully of freedom, you and I. No, no, well, no. I don't, I'm, but you I'm, do. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm very happy about it. Yeah. Apart? No, apart? No, 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 no. Apart no. from the dog, it's fine. Yeah, I was gonna say you. Look, you acquired a dog. Yeah. I would have. You know, I'm. I, I love attending weddings. I usually give great gifts, but I wasn't invited. So. To my wedding. 
If I find out who just, did not invite Dwight... I'm sure it was an oversight. Yeah, it is an oversight. I heard it was the winter solstice. Well, yeah, we get married on the shortest day of the year. I thought, well, that's got to mean something. You know? Sure. <laughs> Could mean a lot of things. I, you know, it, it, short jokes. Short. Connected to nuptials. Hey, hey, oh, hey, no. hey! No, no, no. We were friends! I said it could. I didn't. I didn't say new. I had no information. I have no knowledge of. No, no. This is not the kind I of internet no, scuttlebutt no, that I want. No, I. Here, I wanted. I never know if somebody. Has, no, I'm the first guest. This yeah, is yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> you can never be. That's why you always want to be the first guest. Yeah. Absolutely. You can never be sure. You with can that never mug. be sure. I think cabbage might have peed in that one. Be right. Thanks. No, no, no. I was, what I was going to say was it's the longest night of the year. Oh, yes. That's longest. Right. Longest night. Night. Longest night. Ah, yes. So Sadly, you, went, you went right to the shortest day of the year. No, you I, went right to the shortest day. I'm just sitting here no, going, no, oh, I said, uh, tell me about your new movie. You're the one that's coming no, out going, ah. I said, I, said I, just, I, I, I remember exactly what was said. It was only a few minutes ago. Just a one in a minute. You're like, a, you're like TiVo in a hat. <laughs> yeah. TiVo in a hat. You do have a screamer here tonight. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, he was just, over there behind the desk. She, yeah, yeah. She's fun unless you're trying to hide from your wife. Yeah. But, um, what was, oh, oh, no, no. What you said, I said that you were married on the, on the winter solstice. Yes, yes, yes. And you said shortest day of the year. Shortest, yes, yes, yes. So I yeah, would have said. It's time for us to move on. I would have said longest. Okay. It's time for us to move on. Let's get crank to two. Crank, no, crank high voltage. Crank high voltage. I could oh, have said the legend of Curly's Gold. Exactly. <laughs> Comes out this Friday. Yeah. Now, in, in, okay, in this enough of that. In this movie, you play a doctor. Uh, I play an erstwhile doctor. An erstwhile. I, I'm reprising the role from the previous crank. Jason and I uh, are friends, and I I'm a doctor without a license. I don't. I re he's really kind of just, yeah, a ne'er-do-well kind of doctor. Bad doctor? No, he's not a bad doctor. He's just been a bad guy at times. And oh, so he's a good doctor. Kind of a screw-up. He's a, he's a doctor that can't live by the rules. There you go. Yes! You've met, you've, boy, I've met a few of those. If I'd had you, be, <laughs> if you'd only been there when I was doing my preparatory work, my preparation you, for the character. Do you actually, do you, do you do all that? Mm -mm. No, okay. But if you'd been there. <laughs> you might have done some. Yeah, if you'd come by the trailer even. I'm, I can't come by your trailer now. I'm married. <laughs> Excuse me, I need a little more P. Yeah, right, yeah, all right, yeah. Here's, here's P to you. P to you, too. Mm. So did you get any good gifts? Yeah, yeah, I did, yeah. Got a nice little French bulldog there. From that group that was invited to the wedding. Well, was it a big a, wedding? No, no, small no, no very, very small. What yeah. about your wedding when it you always, get married? It always is when they don't invite you. It's like, what, well, we did, didn't hey, have yeah. there, was, there was nobody there. The, the, it, was a, it was a blizzard. It was a blizzard. Nobody could make it. I knew you lived far away and didn't have snow tires. In, in any event, yeah. So, uh, you got good gifts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have given you nice gifts. Okay, well. Some candlesticks. Well, well, candlesticks, you say. <laughs> this is when it's going nowhere. <laughs> no, we're done. No, we're no. finished. We're oh, finished. Oh, you're kicking me off. No, you just, you just keep making it. He's like, oh, no, stop. I'm like, I'm trying to, but he won't stop talking. <laughs> the segment's done? It's done, yes. That was painless. Usually I come out and I have to sing for my supper. Yeah, you have to. Well, usually you do music. I know, and, I yeah, usually come and do music. Yeah. And then this is just kind well, of Well, this is the movie star icing one. Icing on the musical cake. Huh? Yeah. You, well, you're a movie star yeah, now. Yeah, you, have to, you good, just do yeah. the movie star. Just hope but. and pray that Richard Gere doesn't have a big, big Don't hit. start with that stuff. <laughs> I don't. thought, I thought, when you died, I thought. Don't, please you don't do that. Richard Gere will now have the Oscar-winning moment of his career, like the thing to come back and every show will have him. But Craig. <laughs> Well, well why, you know, that's the why way it didn't goes. Craig Ferguson ever interview Richard Gere about that? All right, it's enough. <laughs> Dwight Yoakam, everybody. <laughs> bye, 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 bye. Hey, you ever see that movie Titanic? Uh, yeah. Wouldn't it be crazy if we if we hit an iceberg? I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh look, look! Iceberg! Dead ahead! Oh no! Oh oh! Why'd you do
do that? Because you remind me of a young Kate Winslet. Now take off your shirt and let me draw your boobies. Okay. Oh. Oh, you're going down with the ship. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back to the big show. <laughs> I actually, you know, I was just looking at the roof because we have a leak. I'm not kidding. And they said it might rain. <laughs> but if it does, we'll just keep going. <laughs> Damply. <laughs> Is Damply a word? Sure. It's my nickname, actually. Oh, look, everyone, it's Damply. Hello! My next guest is a beautiful actress. She's uh, in uh, In Plain Sight, which, you know, the series In Plain Sight. Oh, it's very good. The second season premieres uh, Sunday on the USA Network. Take a look at this. Stan, I've got one dead witness and three others who are either suspects or in jeopardy. I hardly think this is the time to get fussy over bureaucratic BS. <laughs> Come on. Well, excuse me, Inspector, but what you think or don't think is entirely irrelevant. And I won't tolerate that tone. You're on official administrative leave, which means you have no standing nor authority as U.S. Marshal. Consequently, no business in this office. What? Log off and go home. I'll call you when the IA investigator gets here. You know what? I don't need a week. I never thought about it. <laughs> Consider me logged off. Whoa! That's what I like. A sassy woman. Please welcome a sassy woman. Mary McCormack, everybody. Great! Thanks! You do! You're your red dress. You well, look sensational. When you stop nursing, things go back where they belong. Well, they, they look like they had a nice trip and they aren't, did. Too, they did. aren't too damaged brought by the experience. Yes. Yes. No, I brought you a gift because I'm shooting my TV show in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I love Albuquerque. I the know. Rattlesnake Museum. I always go there when I'm a... You didn't. I a did. rattlesnake? No. Okay. Close. <gasps> oh, God! I love it's good, right? Yeah! Thank you! You're welcome. Oh, man! It's oh, better than a t-shirt. I can't drink out of this yet. Oh, no. Probably not, actually. No, no, it I... has made a long trip. With yeah, styrofoam yeah. and packing. I'll use it from now on on yes. the show, though. Yes! Need more water Because I don't need this crap. Get Yeah! <laughs> this is the new cup. Hey! Hey! I warned you not oh to awe God. me. <laughs> you made me crazy. Oh my God! How are you? S slightly turned on, right? Yeah. Hey. Oh, I Don't love know what this. that's about. Look at that. Look at that. That's great. isn't that fantastic? Is yeah, it, is it made good. out of a hollowed-out rattlesnake? Yes. Oh, oh yes. Great. It's the real deal. No, it's a great city, and there's a great museum all about rattlesnakes, which yeah. we go to. My daughters go to all the time. What age are your daughters? Four and a half, and almost two. She's about two. Rose, th poor Rose. Uh, well, I guess the rattles—that's what they like most yeah. of all. Yeah. They just love creepy things. I love creepy things. The other day at Margaret's school, she said, "I, I interrupted. She, bless her heart. I take her all over the country and put her in new schools. So she's always trying to make friends." And I sort of witnessed it, and it was so sad because she said to a group of friends, they were all bragging about their play dates, and one said, oh, I have a swing, and one said, oh, I have a tent at my house, you should come to my house, we have tents, and then one said, you know, we have so many, we have bubbles, whatever, we have a bubble machine, and then literally poor Margaret went, we have cockroaches, a lot of them. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. And we do. Yeah, well, that's all right. So, Could you get me a cup made out of a cockroach? I'd yeah, love that. Yeah, no, I know. That's I'm really hard. thirsty now, and I want to drink out I know. here, but I can't. I feel yeah. bad about that. No, and I, I can't have... drink out there because Dwight Yoakam left his goodies on it. <laughs> hey, the last time you were here, i got yes. to tell you this. Yes. The last time you were here, you were promoting the movie 1408, right? Yes. Right, and so I knew you were in it. Yes. And then it came on cable after, it, you know, I, I tried to get to see it, but the lines were around the block. So I waited until it came out on cable. And then... <laughs> and then... I was watching the movie and I, it was so scary. It's really scary. I couldn't get to your bit. That's what I told you last time. I told you I was it's, so scared. I was scared. I'm in it. too scared. I, I mean, couldn't watch it. It's too scary. It's really creepy. Yes. Okay. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Thank you for going. 
I, better late than never. Well, no, no, I mean, it's good. Renting and, uh, cable, whatever. And, and, and this, and this, the, <laughs> the um, I, this new thing you're doing. It's, I'm doing season. it. Yeah, I'm Do you doing know that it. guy that was in the, the, the clip there? The bald actor? Yes. Paul Ben Victor, the brilliant Paul Ben Victor. He was in the second season of The, of the Wire. Wire. And he's brilliant in that. He's fine. Have no, you seen touched. The Wire? Of course. Oh, my God. Oh, that's... No, it's the best thing ever made. It makes you want to stop making oh, everything my... else. Like, we should leave. Him. We should get out. Yeah, we should watch the Wire. DVD The Wire. We should be watching this crap. Well, I don't want to promote The Wire. All oh, right, sorry. In plain sight. Well, but but the but the, yeah, no, the Wire is exceptional. You know what they're saying about Victor in plain sight? It's the new Wire. That saying. is it. I like it. Because Paul Ben Victor's in I like it. it. Yeah. No, it's great. I have a great part. It's all about witness protection, and I protect. You know, I, I give do you people new lives. I do. I carry a gun. Nice. It's fantastic. Really? Yeah. No, it's, it's again, my poor children is it, with is the gun. Is it a real gun? Yeah, and they visit me on set. The other day, Margaret visited me on set, and, and I always have it on my hip, and she has a problem with, she likes to be naked, and she, she's always taking off her clothes, and, and she Just like off. mommy, huh? Apple doesn't fall off. Far from the tree. Anyway, so I looked over, and she's taking off her shoes for like the fifth time, and I, and without thinking, I turned her and pointed my gun, like Ugh. gangster style, too, uh. like that, and I was like, Margaret, Put your shoes on. <laughs> Aunt, true story. And the whole crew is like, uh-oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but so, she put her shoes on. I she wore them all night. Yeah, yeah, I bet. <laughs> she wore them to bed. What's my earring doing? Your earring? It's, yeah. it's sitting there on oh, your ear. It, Why did it, it did a flip. Did it flip? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a very nice earring. Thank oh, you. Yeah, it matches the one on the other side. Yeah. <laughs> Tilt to the classic. Well, you know, because yes. you don't want to wear one dangly earring and one stud earring, you end up walking in circles. Oh. <laughs> do you still go back to London a lot? Because you, uh, you do. Didn't you marry a, a, an Englishman? He's English. Oh, okay. Yeah, and he's Jewish. So we this weekend we did Passover and uh, Easter, crowded. Yeah. <laughs> and my daughter has absorbed nothing of it. Like I, I tried to explain again what Easter meant and new birth and life and spring and heaven. I was trying to sort of do a real peaceful, general, yeah. you know, like that. Non denominational. A Jew and I'm, right, yeah, like right. really mellow, whatever. And she goes, Mommy, Hanukkah is Christ's birthday and Easter is the Easter Bunny's birthday. And that's all she's taken out. <laughs> Mouthful of chocolate. She's not. Has no idea what anything's about. You should have Which said, hey, hey, listen to me. <laughs> Listen to me. Here's what Easter's about. Here, I'll tell you what Easter's about. <laughs> yeah. I'm Bless looking forward heart. to seeing this, this new show, though. I think you'll enjoy season. it. I, I am going to watch it. I enjoy the show. You can get the box set <laughs> on cable, or, you know, it's for sale now. So I, the, the box nothing set the wrong with season? coming to something late. The I, box set just came out. Grab it. Um, well, I like the I box set. I should have bought it for you with your... Well, no, you, you were carrying this. Yeah, it's true. This, this is dirty awesome. You know, you know, in late night, like in my game, there's a huge war about to start. Everyone's changing around and people changing their time slots oh, and yeah, stuff. Oh, yeah, I saw that. This is my passport yeah. to the future. They don't have that. None of those bastards have got this. That's right. This is how I'm going to win. Never mind HD and money. What do you this love This is about what's going to do it. What did you love about it? It's what, fantastic, this? Bob, at the Rattlesnake Museum. What did you? What's your passion for the? You just thought it was fantastic. I just, it is. I just, I've never been to a museum where they just went, oh yeah, we got rattlesnakes. What? Anything from ancient history? Yeah, yeah just no, snakes. Just yeah. snakes. <laughs> yeah. I like a specialist. I like someone yeah. who knows what they like. He sent a note for you. I have it backstage, oh, Bob. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we got to go. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, anyway, whatever. thank you so much. Well, thank much. you so much for coming, and yeah. I'll look forward to the box set, and maybe uh, I'll, I'll send it over right away. All right, thanks. I promise. I promise. I learned on the show tonight that don't show off in front of actresses and go breaking cups when CBS has a very powerful union. <laughs> Good night, everybody.